What's up? This is Squad 2440. We're a following tonight to Sound Team View. Today, we'll be setting up the new logging company here on the Pine Creek Hills map. We'll be using a variety of brand new equipment with a variety of trucks for this new company. For equipment, we'll be using the JCB 325T Echo Skid Seer with the stump grinder attachment. And we will be using our brand new excavator, which is the 902 Limburg. Now, I did choose the wheel option for the four stabilizers, and we do have a variety of attachments. This one is the walking one right now, which is pretty cool. And then our final piece of brand new equipment is a Case 1150M Dozer with a brand new blade on the front and a working winch on the back. All these equipment you guys can see do a protection over the glass which is very realistic for the logging series you guys can see that's going to keep us safe while we do operate them for trucks we'll be using our personal one which is a chevy 2500 extended cap six and a half foot bed with a cummins swapped on the inside and then we do have a brand new 24 foot trailer which we'll be hauling the excavator with up next for semi trucks we have two kenmore day calves these will be used for hauling the low boys with the equipment and our final semi is a western star day cab it's a pretty old one but it has a brand new logging trailer on the back which is pretty cool i'm very excited for starting up this logging series we have been doing quite a lot on the xbox one and i've been getting quite a bit of support so i thought we'll kind of bring this back with a variety of brand new equipment and this will be a very realistic series one that I will be very excited to do so up first I want to kind of bring over the smallest and we'll be kind of working our way up we'll be hopping here in the JCB 325T and we'll be loading it up here onto the trailer but like we're saying guys I'm very excited for bringing this series back I do get a lot of support on the Xbox ones and I will be bringing back more Xbox videos so stay tuned for all of those and if you do have any ideas for this series let me know down below in the comments now Pine Creek Hills map is based off Gold Crest Valley, the base map, but is a much larger, very cool forest with a own base. We are actually already have a shop, which is pretty cool. So you guys can see we got this loaded on. I did back it on just to be pretty realistic. Now I wanted to do a variety of third and first person, but I would like to feature a little bit more first person on this series. Now take a look at that, guys. Our Chevy 2500 is squatting in the back. That is pretty realistic, and we'll be raising up the ramps. It might fix it just a little bit nope take a look at that it's squatting so much but this old Chevy should be doing a pretty good job it looks like the steering is fun on it which is pretty cool and then you guys can see we, that we do actually have like a custom exhaust but I think we'll hop out here and let's kind of move this skid steer forward just a little bit it's a very big heavy skid steer so moving the weight like that should be a little bit better on the suspension of the truck I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going awesome and I really do appreciate the support here on the daily videos. I'm now going daily posts on Instagram and I have been on Twitter. So I do recommend you go over there to both of them and follow me at Square2448. But you, you guys can see this is one pretty cool setup along with a very nice first person view. So like I was saying, I do like kind of going with the smaller equipment first. That way we get to kind of see what is happening here and then we get to plan out where we want to put everything along with I want to get everything parked up and get this ready for our brand new video on this series coming out later this week you guys can see that we're doing a pretty good job cruising at highway speeds we are actually in the slower lane and we are passing some of those faster ones but I mean we are going under the speed limit of 50 and just about climbing up to that but you guys can see this is a pretty cool realistic truck I am trying to find more high quality mods and high quality maps to use in my videos I think that that's a pretty cool thing that I'm trying to do and it showcases those modders who put a ton of work into them we will be taking this left up here so I will be indicating but wow this is an older truck now the body isn't as detailed as like the newer ones that are, have been released but I really do like the interior of this and we'll wait for this truck to go by no need to kind of rush it and risk it because that is pretty risky especially on a highway towing but you guys can see I mean next up our speed is 35 so we do have to be pretty careful but I really do enjoy bringing guys daily farming some videos these are a lot of fun doing different things the landscaping the logging heavy rescue fire rescue all the different things and lawn care will be coming back so stay tuned for that within the next week i do have something very special for that 
Now we will be taking one of these entrances coming up over here. Now definitely is not this one. I believe that it is past the house. But you guys can see, I mean, all this is brand new to our right. And I mean, that is pretty cool having all these upgrades. So I believe it's this turn coming up here to our right. Now for this logging company, we will not be doing too much wood chipping. I really do like kind of just cutting them down, putting them into pieces equal pieces and then loading them up onto our truck but you guys can see it's pretty dense a lot of trees in this area which is pretty cool that's a lot for us to cut down and you guys can see we are coming up here and take a look at this guys I mean this is one massive area for us to work with I mean this should be pretty exciting I mean, usually you don't get this but we got it we took out a loan and we got it so as you guys can see we'll kind of come over here and I think we'll probably unload it and then we'll kind of park this trailer in the open area outside unless I think I think we'll put the excavator over there. You guys, since we've got the ramps down, we'll be coming over here and we'll be opening up these doors. I really do like these doors. They are pretty cool. We'll come on the inside and I believe that this one has to do it. Let's take a look. Looks like it is now opening. Wow. Take a look back, guys. A brand new shop for us. Very detailed. And I mean, this first person view is pretty nice. It is a bit challenging, though, having it... Uh, with a cage but it is very realistic and it's much safer to do it so I think we'll just kind of park this over here to the side and actually no, we'll kind of back it up all the way awesome we got that backed up next though, we'll be hopping back here in the truck and like we're saying this is our personal truck which we'll also be using for our company I really want this to be pretty realistic and we did pretty much have to start the company on a budget and one of those uh, Kenworths and low boys are rented so I mean we only own one of those but the dealer had another one, so I said, can we rent it for the day? You guys can see, it looks like the truck is struggling just a little bit to kind of go through the door since we are kind of touching it. But wow, it looks like we do not even have to disconnect. That is pretty nice. We'll back up. That looks to be good just about there. And we'll be switching back over here. As you guys can see, we are now back over here. And I think up next, before we do any more equipment, we'll kind of go bring over this logging trailer. We'll be hopping in the Western Star Day Cab. I mean, this is one epic semi-truck. Really do like a lot. And take a look at this first person view. Very nicely done. Like I was saying earlier, I really do like showcasing modders who put a lot of time into their mods. And I would also like to thank each and every one of them for all of the energy and the time. Uh, and just the great work they do here in the farming sim community. But you guys can see that this is a brand new logging trailer, which is pretty cool. Now for these, there are two segments on where you want to put logs. You don't want to put it in the middle two. You want to put them in the... Far too. So that's kind of how we'll do it. This will be very realistic and that should be like next level for the channel logging wise. I've been just kind of doing the average logging but this is very realistic and it's going to be a ton of fun. So hope you guys are excited for it. You guys can see this Western Star Day Cab does a dual exhaust out top. I mean that thing looks pretty cool. Now as you guys can see, we do not have too much equipment. We are starting a bit smaller than all of my other series. I mean, I do like having a ton of equipment, but for this logging, we do not do too much. Probably one or two of these a week at most, and I think they will most likely be featured kind of towards the end of the week. But we are actually coming up here on the street. I really do like this logging trail. I mean, this thing looks pretty cool, and it is brand new to us, and I did get it off the official website. I also was deciding on doing this logging series on the Xbox One, but I thought that since the PC does have some pretty cool semi-trucks and a few other things like the case, that I thought we'll kind of switch over here and do it on this. And I actually did do a few different logging uh, series, trying out different maps, and I really do like this Pine Creek map. We did set up one uh, about a month ago on the Oregon Farms map, but I think that this map will be a little bit better for us and I am using all public mods, so maybe for a live stream I might open it up and uh, that would be pretty cool to do. You guys, since we are behind a slower car, which is okay, I mean, we'll be getting off right after that house up there, and that is actually our house, so at the end of today, we'll be going over there and parking up. I really do like kind of starting out at the house and ending there, so that's what we'll do. We'll start out at the house, we own this entire force, that's kind of what we did, and I mean, we, we'll make the money back, though, selling all of that, and then they'll make plywood, a bunch of different things with it, lumber. Now this Western Star Day Cab, I did actually do a mod review on it quite a long time ago and I really do like this thing. I mean this thing looks pretty epic, the textures wise, but take a look at how narrow this road is. Not too much room 
equipment stakes on either side, especially when you are hauling pretty wide equipment. We are back over here, and because we'll be using this very, very soon, I think we'll just kind of park it up right along the side over here. We'll put it right along this fence, but I really do like this entire area very open to us, and we'll be able to put a ton of equipment. That looks to be good just about there. We'll be switching over and we'll be actually taking that truck last. That way it's a little bit easier for us to kind of switch between uh, different areas. And I do not really like to do that, but it would just take way too much time to kind of keep coming back. I just added the supports for the little boy. We'll be kind of disconnecting that, pulling forward. And I think up next will be the case dozer. Now, I wasn't really sure on adding this, but I thought this, this would be a pretty cool thing because we do have a working winch and we'll be able to attach, especially if we get uh, ones fall in some tricky areas. This should be very easy to do. And I mean, this thing, very high quality model, looks pretty cool. You guys didn't see this first person view is epic with those cages. Now, I was thinking that the Skizia would be able to fit on this, but I don't think it will. And actually, it looks like we could slide back the low boy uh, supports. That would make it a little bit easier for us driving wise. So that looks to be good. We could uh, probably fit the Skizia on this, but I mean, a little too close. And this one does not have the extending one, but I do like these a lot. Very high quality, very nicely done, low boys. We'll back up, and I want to bring in just a little bit. As you guys can see, I did fold it in, which is perfect, and take a look at this, guys. This is one very nice day cab. Do like a lot, and I mean, this thing is made for logging, and this is actually the logging version of the truck. As you guys can see, we were able to make that turn pretty nice, but it is actually pretty challenging. But I mean, today was also like a little bit of setting up, but also quite a bit of hauling. So if you guys would like to see more of these types of videos, setting up new series here on the channel, let me know down below in the comments. I really do enjoy bringing guys a variety of different series here for Farming Sim. Why do I do bring you guys a variety of different games uh, from BeamNG, American Trucks, and Minecraft, for uh, spin tires in all of the other games like Gold Rush. You guys can see that we are passing the other ones on the side. Now take a look at that guys, that vehicle just pretty much pulled out right in front of us. So here in Farm Sim, I mean the traffic just kind of goes on their way with the scripts and if you do kind of go fast and they do pull out, there could be a pretty large crash. So it's a pretty good thing that we did slow down. Like I was saying earlier, I really do appreciate all of the support here on the daily videos. You guys are awesome with all of the support and I do enjoy doing these. And without you guys, it would not be possible to upload two videos a day. We'll be kind of getting over to this lane since we will be turning up here. And we'll definitely get our turn signal on. That way people in the fast lane know that we will be turning and they don't go pretty fast. This low boy looks pretty cool, especially having that case dozer on the back. I mean, this is pretty cool. You guys can see taking this pretty wide. This kind of does very nice job. You guys can see that we do have three axles in the back of this semi truck. And I mean, this is one epic truck. Do like a lot. And it is a top, one of my favorite semi trucks. And yes, I will be doing a top of... Uh, 15 semi trucks on Kenworths, and then I will be doing some on Peterbilt's, and then I will be doing a, a third one on a variety of different ones. We'll be kind of slowing down here since I mean there's a vehicle in ahead of us, and we'll actually be taking it the next right. The traffic here in this game do go a bit slower than what I usually go, but it's always nice to kind of slow down at, at times and kind of catch a little bit of break. But we'll be kind of making this turn. We do actually have to go pretty wide. Looks like we did do a pretty good job there. We have one last piece of equipment that we do have to get. And like I was saying, that truck and trailer are rented. And we'll be giving that back at the end of today's video, which is pretty realistic. We do not need two of the same low boys and trucks. But you guys can see that we made it back over here. This little boy is pretty expensive, so I will be keeping it indoors. You guys can see we made it over here. We'll disconnect that, and we'll pull forward and uh, kind of unload the case. 
before I unload it, I do want to come over here and there looks to be enough room to kind of squeeze by and hopefully we'll be able to do that. But you guys can see, I mean, this thing looks epic, do like a lot, and having that working winch is a big bonus for us and it is a great way for us to kind of get a dozer and take a look back. Guys, it looks like the collision on that truck was not able to kind of work with this, so I will have to kind of look into that, fixing that collision on the truck. We'll hop out, we'll readjust this really fast before we do hop back in the semi. And I actually do want to kind of disconnect it and pull the truck forward because we'll be taking this home a little bit later on today. Now, forward time-wise, I think I will kind of just park this off camera just because it will take us just a little bit of time. We'll be kind of backing up here, and that looks pretty good just about there. We'll turn this off. We'll now be switching back over here to the Kenworth. We'll hop on the inside. Now, we do want to extend this out, kind of switch over here, and I really do like this little boy, how you, it's so easy to do that, and we'll be pulling forward here. Now, this is a very nice excavator. I did feature it in a mod review, and there are so many different attachments, and a few of them will be getting delivered over to us, which is pretty nice. And like I was saying earlier, the reason why I did choose this one is because of the four stabilizers. I think that that's going to be a little bit easier, stabilization wise and safer using this one uh, than the other one so we'll be kind of backing this on you guys can see this does fit pretty well but it is pretty high so we do actually have to watch out for that as we do go but we should be good We'll be hopping back here in the Kenworth and we'll be backing up. I will not be kind of readjusting the little boy since that is pretty wide as is. And now we'll be making our way back over there. I am checking both ways since we do have to take this a very wide turn. And I really do a good job at this and I do enjoy using a Xbox One controller for Farm Sim. It's very easy and it helps out with the steering, everything like that, along with the camera movement. So I do recommend using controllers. It's a bit easier and even better than the X. The controller is sometimes even better than the keyboard. Now I am going to be taking it just a little bit slower since we are a little bit more top heavy than the other one. I mean that is a pretty high boom and sometimes after we do need to get over very soon. There is a sign coming up, a few signs along the side of the road sometimes that really do catch us. So to be safe, I did move over and some of the edits of Goldcrest Valley do have giant signs and we definitely do not want to hit that. But I mean this is a very detailed excavator which has so many different attachments and the one on it is a logging one which means that we'll be able to take four or five logs at once, which is going to be pretty cool. We will be live streaming this Friday at 6 p.m. on the PC. I am switching back now from Xbox to PC, which is pretty cool. Having that variety every other week, we are on the other one, which is pretty cool. We'll be taking the next ride, and then we'll pretty much be calling it a day. It's been a very busy day for us, but we've been pretty productive. We got this company ready to go for a logging video. Our first one coming later this week, which should be pretty exciting. I really do like this edit of Gold Cross Valley with this giant area now you guys can see I am trying to be pretty careful go in the center just to make sure that we do not kind of hit any trees but you guys can see we arrived here at our shop now with the last of all of the equipment I hope you guys enjoyed today's video setting up the brand new logging company here on the Pine Creek Hills map stay tuned for a logging video later this week have a great day and subscribe for more